down in the gecko room again. Jessica has another package. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this little baby. I tell you what, excited about this. I'll be totally honest with you. I don't even know what these things look like. You showed me a picture of them and said, hey, can we get these? And they looked awesome. So let's uh, let's take a look. Heck yeah, so these are one of my favorite of the Europlatus species. Really? Yeah, so instead of looking like a leaf though, they look more like a piece of bamboo. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, that sounds so bizarre. So, and of course, FedEx, unfortunately, uh, didn't deliver these guys yesterday. They were supposed to be here, so they've had an extra day traveling, but it looks like they're packed pretty well. So what do we have? Oh my gosh, they are so weird looking. These are one of the largest ones too. They're not really? as big as the Fimbriatus, but uh, they are Ooh. very large. And that's obviously the boy. You can yeah. see the big hammy paints. Interesting, they don't have that leaf tail like Yeah, you said. so another name they call these guys would be lined flat tail geckos. Lined flat tail geckos. And there. his tail will like fluff out a bit out a <laughs> once bit. Yeah, we right like get him into an enclosure and oh like give gosh. him some water. They're so weird. I mean, the Europlant, he's obviously from Madagascar. Really interesting genus of animals for sure, but these ones are weird. I've never seen them before. I love them, Jessica. So you said there's a pair of them, huh? Yep, I've got, that's the male, obviously. So they look like they're in shed too. And oh, that'll happen a lot prettier. of times. And are these, have these ever bred? Yeah, so these are proven pair. Proven so super, pair. Super it looks like this female's them. actually almost a little ovulated right now. Yeah, she does look, she looks really plump. Oh my God, these things are so cool. Well, and they're gonna go down here? Yep. So uh, I was gonna put them in one of these. Okay. Displays, but I think I'm gonna go with the skyscraper since okay. they're so large. Yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> Their tongues are black. Tongues are black. Wow, that's <laughs> cool. So these are definitely some crazy weird lizards for sure. Love a good addition to the gecko room for sure. And oh yeah, let me take a look. Oh gosh. And again, guys, if you guys ever want to have, oh, I can see that black tongue come out. Again, you can go at thereptarium.com. You can always get a Jessica and Bruce tours, see monitors and geckos. So definitely go pay them uh, some respect. If you guys want to come down and see the gecko room, see all the cool stuff and check Bruce out with all his crazy monitor lizards too. But these guys are awesome. Update on a few clubbers that we're raising up, including the albino wolf snakes. This is the only pair of albino wolf snakes in the country. And they are just so interesting. The color is like nothing else I've ever seen from any of the other animals we have. They're just really absolutely amazing. Not ready to breed this the year coming up, but for the next year, we should be good. It's a little feisty monkey too. We also have the hypo wool snakes as well that are really, oh, geez, projectile poop right on the camera. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, working with Colubrids is fun. You guys know I love all of my Boega, and the Boega Siena are really interesting. Of course, this has now gotten its adult color, and just look at how incredible that snake is right there. I mean, wow, absolutely amazing. Again, remember when these were babies, it's actually got a green head and an orange body, and then it goes through that color change and turns green, doing really well. Probably one of the more hardy of the Boega, to be totally honest with you. This is an absolutely gorgeous snake right here. This is a Scalus Tessera corn snake right now, and that is just absolutely amazing that kind of almost patternlessy thing i tell you colubrids are crazy i love them to death and stuff like that but i'm getting peed on i'm getting eaten i'm getting everything today just to show off these animals it's worth it don't get me wrong but boy oh boy colubrids can sometimes really challenge your patience for sure but what a gorgeous snake this is what they actually call it phantom corn snake so it's a type b charcoal corn snake which is like a black corn snake without the yellow but then it's also hypo so it's a hypo charcoal corn snake again called a phantom corn and I just tell you what I love the kind of color palette on that that real kind of gray with the black outlining what an absolutely gorgeous snake and that's the thing about colubrids they're so diverse you can have so many more cool animals definitely awesome so uh, loving this guy definitely love the lavender stuff and I love the charcoal stuff this snake looks a lot like the Mexican black king snakes right the negritas but the truth is it's not this is actually an African house snake and it's got that same black color it's called a black house snake an absolutely incredible sheen to it these guys don't get quite as big as the mexican black kings so if you want a jet black snake just like a mexican black king but you won't want it to get too big the house snakes are a perfect option for you absolutely wonderful looking snakes basically we have the sloth stand tree thing that we put the sloth on when we do interactions we're gonna try to see if we can't get the monkey tail skinks to go out on it and see if they can just get a little bit more enrichment see how well they actually are at climbing on the smaller branches is it both in it Oh, that's one. I find it in your hands. I'll take that. <laughs> that's easy. As simple as it gets, Wait, that's not fair. You made me do it first, so. Woo! If you guys actually don't remember the names, they're actually Fred and Wilma. For obvious reasons, they look like they're straight out of the Flintstone. I know it looks like these guys are pretty simple animals, but I'm telling you, this is an animal you don't want to get bit by. It's a 
Oof, man. Walnut crusher. Why exactly? Yeah, like that. Like you gotta realize they have massive, massive jaw muscles. Like they're that they're just meant to to, to just hold that food and crush it. I'm not tickling her butthole. She's so cute. She's <laughs> like, no, no, I'm going to kill you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not getting bit by this thing today. No way, Jose. All right, let's go. Let's stop a bit. Oh, she did. Hello, okay. Walmart. Go get your woman. Go bring yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. A lot of lizards typically will have like a lot of a lot of babies. These guys only generally have one, maybe two, if they're lucky. Oh, look at him! Ha ha! So that the uh, blah 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't. Song goes. I'm sorry. You know what? That's good enough for uh, for me. You know, guys, I'm always curious why you watch the vlog and what you want to see more of the vlog. I wanted to kind of break down really quick what I consider the vlog is as far as like segments only, right? You know, so basically I have like the zoo, then I have breeding with BHB, then I have travel, I have builds, I have crew, I have family, and that's kind of the segments that I look at is like what makes up the vlog, right? So I want to know from you guys, you know, what do you like? I mean, do you like a lot of the zoo stuff? Do you want to see more breeding stuff? Do you want me to see more build stuff? Do you like the family adventures? Do you like the crew adventures? adventures uh, you know what is it that you want to see you know I mean I want to make sure that you guys get what you want out of this and I don't know what more we want to do you know as we're kind of wrapping up the breeding season we're not gonna have eggs and cutting and all that stuff so over the winter I want to make sure that you guys are engaged with the blog and I want to see what you guys want to do now you know keeping in mind that when we start building the Reptarium expansion which is gonna be sometime next year it's gonna be pretty much all building almost all the time because my life is gonna be absorbed in that and of course the breeding and running a business and all that type of stuff but the fact is is that I have a lot of projects I can build out now if I want to like the gecko room we're still working on there's still a bunch of projects that I got to do here get the waterfall and Lucy's cage working again Bowser's tank we want to do a few things with so if you like build stuff great if you want to see some more outside the shop adventure stuff that'd be great if you want to see us to travel more this winter to other collections and zoos and stuff like that that would be awesome if you want to see more about the animals here and our training and our behavior I mean let me know down in the comments what you like about the blog and uh, what I can do better to keep you guys engaged during the winter months when things aren't as spontaneously crazy like they are during the summer. These are the albino granite garter snakes. I love garter snakes. You guys know the love of snakes for me started with garter snakes and these guys are absolutely incredible. A double recessive mutation and you guys might be asking like how many snakes does BHB raise up each year and it really is depending on projects right. When we want to get into a certain project and we need more snakes we'll raise that project up or for some reason we're getting animals that get old you know because some of our Kluber colony is literally now you know 15 plus years old so we obviously have to replace those animals right with new things and we usually upgrade them or if there's like something that's really super popular we'll work with that more stuff like that so it's just it depends on the year sometimes we'll raise up to 200 snakes when it comes to colubrids sometimes we're only raising 50 it really just depends on the year this next batch is pretty big I think there's at least 150 or 200 snakes that won't be ready to breed in 2022 but will in 2023 we were so excited to produce the palmetto corns this year is the first time we've ever produced them and of course we hung on to a bunch of them from last year too just to grow our group because it's definitely one of the most spectacular of all the corn snakes I mean again they're born this color they stay this color they don't like develop into pigments so this animal is going to look this way its entire life which is pretty cool because that way if you want one that has a lot of pattern you just pick a baby that has a lot of pattern or if you want one with a very little amount of pattern you pick a baby with a little amount of pattern either way these things are absolutely spectacular a little history about corn snakes is one of the first mutations that actually was produced in captivity way back in the probably late 70s early 80s were albino corn snakes and then of course not too much longer people bred the albino corn snakes into okatee corn snakes because okatees were so popular in their locality because they're just so pretty and then they called them reverse okatee corn snakes much like this one and then over the years people started to refine them and these are actually what has come out with actually super reverse okatee corn snakes so essentially what they are is just albino okatee corn snakes but then they're selectively bred for like the most contrast possible and I tell you what these things are wonderful can't wait till they can get up to size not only to produce more of these next year but also to start crossing into other things and I tell you what African house snakes are such an underappreciated snake I mean look at how beautiful this hypo house snake is here I mean with that cool kind of almost like giraffe pattern down its back they don't get big they're really easy to breed they really need to be so much more popular than they are I mean I know a lot of people love these guys and there's a lot of mutations that are starting to come out that's 
making it more popular. But I'm telling you what, this is such a cool species of snake to work with. So it's gonna be cool to have a whole bunch of new babies up to size to breed here. This one should actually breed this coming year. So we should have some babies from these as well as a couple other house snakes. So I'm definitely excited about producing house snakes again. Take a look at the belly on this thing. An absolute ripper, that red. This of course is a Musarana rat snake. I've showed you guys the pied Musaranas, but this is what they look like without the pie. Just a jet black animal with a reddish belly. Absolutely incredible. And they'll get big, like eight foot long. They're really amazing. And then of course, this is the pied version of the Musarana rat snakes. You can still see a little red in the belly, but you have that white speckling. Absolutely incredible. Love these animals since the first time I saw them many years ago. I was like, oh my goodness. And now of course we have pies, we have normals, and we have super pies. The ones that are almost all white with just a little bit of pattern on them. Absolutely incredible. Again, not going to be ready this year. These are all animals that will be going in 2023, but as you can see, we have some bangers coming up. And that's just a small amount of what we have here. We have a lot of really cool stuff. And again, I haven't even gotten into the pythons. There's so many animals there that we're raising up to, so I just love the whole part of it. You know, the breeding side isn't as big as it used to be because of the reptarium, but still, I absolutely love BHB. What exactly you got going on here? If you really want to know the truth, I don't really know. Lori ordered it, and I guess we're putting Brillo in a playpen? I, I don't know. I just overheard what Lori was saying. I think she was saying to put it all the way across so that no. you could just keep... No. Because I don't... You can't put him in a playpen because you got to have people inside there. Well, yeah, but the people can go inside of the playpen. No, too. they can't. Not that. Yeah, there's not enough room oh, in that huge. playpen. Watch this. No, yep. I don't think that's true. The magic trick? There is no way you're going to fit six people in Brillo in there. Definitely. Baseline, voice bit, of reason. A little bit tight. A little tight. Look at it. There's no way. We're no. Truly I think what I think what I heard was that Brillo was getting under the tables. And so she got this so that we could go just across okay. here. Okay. So let's try that. Why don't we put it closer to the table so there's more room? Wow. Tell you, it's, it's, it's you guys see what I have to deal with on a daily basis. See, there just like go. that. Perfect. Boom. See, that's what Good I job. do. Good job. All right. I think we gotta figure it out. You don't think this is what she was talking about? Nah. Even close. Not even close. Not even remotely. I think this is exactly what she was talking about. I think this is perfect. Where are we going to take Halloween photos at? Well, we're not set up for all the time Halloween photos. We're still going to take Halloween photos here, but then if we don't take Halloween photos, this is what it's going to look like. Maybe we should get an experience room with the experience. Experience room, okay. Yeah, experience so room. the armadillo can go in there, yeah. whatever other experiences we have. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, not a birthday bad. party room. Where's Lori? 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 Mimi? Probably not going to come. She's probably not even coming. Yeah, she's not. She said she'd be right here. She's not even gonna come. So really? If there's ever an underappreciated animal here, it's probably these guys. They are so cool. So do you want to climb over there and put the plant back that you tore down? Uh, I didn't tear that down. They did. So uh, those guys. Mm. Well, you mm. can't just say it and then I, do it. Yes, then. I can. Yes, I can. All right, ready, ready, ready. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got gotcha. you. Oh, because. Like, they're always fighting the which sibling gets to go first. I was like, rock, paper, scissors. And mom's like, that's a great idea. Excuse me, little lady. Oh. Don't you dare do it. I don't fit in this cage. <laughs> yeah, you do. You will it, will it happen. Probably your worst enemy here. Geez, she took enough time. Huh? Her not that really good of a place. So let me ask you, is this what you thought? Yes. Dang it. See, I told you. So Jay asked where we're going to take pictures now. Okay. So ha! This is what I thought for regular time, but for this weekend, we're gonna have to do something different. I have literally no idea what's going on right now. No? No. Things are always so much more difficult when you are involved. Why? I'm the one that... <laughs> Jay was trying... Wrong? Wait a second, yeah, Jay... Wait a second, wait a second. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Be honest. Jay was trying to set this up in a circle, and he said that eight people in the grill <laughs> Yeah, we already knew that wasn't good. I did try. I, I did try. And, and that's what he said you wanted. So maybe... No, eight, I didn't say that's what eight, she wanted. I said that that's what I wanted, yeah, and that's what said, I discussed. Then when I said like this, you said, no, that's not that's what not, she wants. This is not what she wants. No, not for this weekend. See? Yeah, but this is right. what you want. For... <laughs> Yeah, for like, see, I gotta go. I have so much stuff to do. Okay, okay. All right, you got Let's all just go. No, we're just all gonna go. Okay. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, can you do me a favor? Smash that like button. Also, if you want to watch more videos, here's a playlist you can do that on. You can do me one more favor. That's over here. Subscribe to this channel. It would mean the world to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.